best to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight. And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that in Brazil. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. This will be of use. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Sir? Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. <laughs> My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait. If you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Redditosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. That's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim, of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enriar? I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Those? Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Free are we. Free of the Father. Our half lies now. Belong to no other. 
do you think that means? I don't know. But there's definitely something more going on here. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. Do we have to be here? Creeping me out all these There's something over bastards here. with their souls huh? cut a up. A memory of war. You could use this as a training arena. If you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. Ah, there you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten Master me. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? Here. You right, of course. Yeah. A magnificent throw, around. Master Kratos. This Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. All that said, I have a question. I'm splendid. I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neetho. Neetho? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Idrisilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neetho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neethog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. <laughs> well, good luck out there. We're ready to go to Alfheim when you are, Father. Unless you wanted to finish something in Svartalfheim first. as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. 
He can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hide stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. He seems better in Alpha. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. See the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alpha hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble Winter. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Our goal is at the temple, not in the desert. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. <laughs> Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <gasps> There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of out. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. These things smell awful. Always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. 
Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who see the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alpha. Right side, brother. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, flares. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. So tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves, but it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, and here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light.
solid light. Guess some things don't change. Stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Whoa. It's the light. Ah. Ow. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well... ...that's the Lake of Souls? Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They Thanks may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. One of those Light Bombs! Careful! <laughs> Across on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, the shrine away. <laughs> The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. This way, Kratos. Yeah. Now, just like you deserve. 
Explore. Shall we continue? So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred. None more so than the light itself. Aye. The Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively <laughs> desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem. Twilight Stone didn't give you the right angle. Are you certain? <laughs> Salutations, we mean you no harm. He's here. Get back. left alone. The Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an Elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again.
Let's continue our ascent, yes? So, which is your favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother? Why would I choose a favorite? <laughs> I suppose I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> Mystic doesn't see it. There's twilights down on the ground. That's the wrong. No. Another chest. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elves with so much control over the temple. Yes, that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Svartal Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now, too.
Here they come. Do what you must. statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder, if this statue were to fall over the chasm, Foundation's weak. Father could push this over no problem. Oh, the crystals still make light bridges, but now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Go! Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue?
Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? I can't believe all this was down here. Why must they insist on these frustrating trials? You would know better than us, brother. I can't remember the last time I visited the Nords, nor do I wish to try.
Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps, but not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path, regardless of where they end. Must be a way to move this statue's twilight stone to get the right angle. Tear, the last time we were here, we the dark out. That's unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Spartan. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. Job, brother. This way, we're almost there. <laughs> Do you still hear something wounded out there, Atreus? I think so. It could be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate it once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy.
there, the central chamber will bring us to the top. Once we find our way past yet another light door. Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Ah, oh, the light of Alfheim. What? Power? Both? Ambition? A bit vague, innit? 